Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady and this is number three of my Dermatica, I was going to get the name wrong, trial. Um, I've got it here, this is the stuff I've been using and um, it comes in a little kind of applicator um, and it's only week three for me. Although I did, as I said before in my other videos, I did use someone else's for a week, roughly, before I got it. And um, I started to peel off um, with their, um, the one they gave me. But I've got a feeling now that I might have started off on a dose that was too strong for me. Because having read how they do it, they increase it each one you get. So... I think each one lasts a month and uh, so I'm on week three so my one that I've got in the bathroom this is the one that was given to me um, I keep them apart so I don't use this one by mistake so I've got an arm injury um, and um, so it's I've got another week left of that one but the new one should arrive any day now really um, I think they said on my email that they send it out the 20 something of May and that's kind of now. So within the next week or so, I should get my new one. But um, results then, how's it going? Well, sorry, I've got a bit of an itchy nose. I've got an allergy this morning. Um, I feel like my skin has definitely improved. Um, I've got a scar here and it's much fainter. I had a real nasty um, kind of blemish there and it started off life as the most crazy zit spot, whatever you want to call it, that you've ever had. It was an air bubble and it used to just appear, that hurt my arm, sorry, just used to appear here under my eye and it would um, just be there under the surface until you, if you kind of just gently it would pop and it'd be gone and this kept happening and, ha and happening and happening and in the end I had this red mark and oh, um, it was kind of like a a toughened piece of skin gone completely gone all signs of it absolutely no trace of it now and I've always had this kind of um, I don't know what you call it a bleb under my nose here um, I always used to think you can still see it it's there but it used to be like a wart but not a wart if you know what I mean just one of those funny little lumps that you have underneath your nose or wherever some people have them here like a, some people have beauty spots it was not like that it weren't dark it was just the same color as me but it used to be there and it used to bug me well it's still there but it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller every time I apply it um it did kind of I won't say scab over but that's kind of what it did. It sort of got a little bit flaky, if you like. And as time goes by, that is going. It's much, much smaller. I'm going to keep an eye on that because I really like it to be gone. It's one of those things that I always used to like focus on on my face and think, I wish I should get that removed. You know what I mean? Um, it wasn't massive. It wasn't really ultra visible. And if I put makeup on, you don't really see it. I did though. I used to know it's there. And it's still a tiny little bump there. But it's definitely mega, mega different now. It's really much smaller. Um, my bottom <laughs> lines, my bum lines, as I like to call them here, they're less pronounced. You can still see I have them, but they're way, way less pronounced than they used to be. Now, I did used to have some um, quite visible scarring sort of here like acne scars they're still there they're not gone and my scar is actually improving um this part does seem quite deep you know it was a cut line so and you can see that there is a line there for it but when you get to this part i feel like the line is separated like there's more of a more of a channel to that part and the only thing, thing I can think of as to why is it's because it's where it stopped. And when I had my operation, 
the scar tissue was very, very lumpy. And um, I had lots of water collecting, which made a bulge here. And, and look, this here, here, this bit here. The scar tissue underneath is not flattened completely yet, but it's getting there. But the fact that I'm putting this stuff on is helping because I was meant to massage it. And um, start off, don't you, with good intentions and you massage and you do it religiously. But after a while, a few days goes by and you think, oh, I didn't massage, did I? And then you do it and then a week will go by and you think, I'm supposed to be massaging this. And in the end, I kind of stopped. But where the, the scar stopped, I had a lump and it was quite a um, distinctive kind of lump. Well, the lump has gone. Now, obviously, I'm on a... I'm on a diet. I say obviously, if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I'm on a diet. I've been doing low carbon and I've been doing it a couple of months and I've lost about 29, 30 pounds so far. And the fact that my neck has slimmed down has helped a lot because obviously I had tissue removed from this side, but not that side. So if I do this, you can see there's, there's sort of movement here. But that used to be huge and it's not anymore. So obviously the weight loss is helping with that as well. But I do feel that the scar is way less prominent, um, less visible. Um, and the lumpiness of it at the end has gone. I can't even feel where it starts and finishes now. I can just feel that there's that line. But I can't feel the lump. So... Whether this is helping, whether the massaging of it is helping, well, I think it's all helping, to be honest with you. But it's definitely helping with the texture. And here, I used to have a bit of a problem area here, under my jawline, uh, with the texture of my skin. And it's a lot better. It's not, it's not gone completely. But, as I said, it's only been three weeks of official treatment. Um, so... I have to say so far I'm really pleased. Um, it is quite um, drying, which isn't a bad thing for me. I was always a greasy type person. T-zone, you know, greasy. So it's, it's evened that out a lot. Now, I used to use a cream to get rid of the sebum under my skin, which is what has always caused the problems. Um, I have excess sebum in my skin and I don't get any of those problems with this. I used to have a cream that I put on at night which got rid of the bacteria and the sebum which obviously gets rid of the outbreaks. It improves the brightness of your skin but I haven't used it obviously because I'm using this and I have to say that um, this has helped with that as well so because I worried that by uh, using this I can't use the other thing. I had stopped using that though, I have to say. I hadn't used it for quite some time, but the um the sebum in my skin, the build up and everything else was getting to the stage where I thought I really did need to start using it. And I thought now I I've got to use one or the other. So um it's helping with that. So overall I think um I can see improvement every single week. Now I feel like those improvements are going to slow down because, you know, but then again, maybe they won't because the dosage will go up to the next level. So uh, it's interesting to me, but I definitely feel that there is improvement. This has completely returned to normal. This um, little bleb, I don't know what it was. Um, I don't think you can even see it, but it's uh, a lot smaller significantly so um and the general sort of texture has improved now drawbacks there has been some this last week um we had a lot of sunshine and even just going out walking around because you don't well some people do but you know, i don't reach for factor every time i walk out the door um i did notice that i had a few um not I wasn't red you know I hadn't overdone it but I did feel like I was a little bit um susceptible and, and a little bit burny um also 
I noticed that um, because I was hot and red and I needed to put on a bit of colour a lot on my face, um, it wasn't accepting it as well. But I just feel like if the temperature isn't too bad, like it isn't now, then I can put it on and everything's fine. But the minute it gets too hot, um, I don't know. I just feel like I never used to feel like it was not accepting the colour. Maybe it's something to do with the way my skin's healing itself. I don't know. But really hot days where you kind of tend to be feel a bit puffy and, and you've got a lot of moisture in your skin, um, sweat-wise. It hasn't been the best, but I have to say, I don't think it's a product. I don't know. We'll have to sort of see. It's coming back, the heat. So um, if it, it was no matter how much I kind of cooled my face down and patted it dry, I just felt like it was a bit like like the surface of the moon, do you know what I mean? It was kind of a bit too glowing. I don't quite know how to put that into words, but I just felt like um, that the if I was putting my powder on, it wasn't accepting it evenly. It was going like sticking in a patch. So I just thought, well, I'll I'll dig out some of my BB creams because maybe it needs a cream. Now they do encourage you to moisturise and um, layer up if you know what I mean so if you use any other treatments to kind of layer them and I have been doing that so I feel like it's probably improved because of it but I do think that the overall texture of the little scar I had there the bleb that I had here and whatever that was was all improved this has gone uh, and these have improved so we're gonna see um, we carry on and see what happens so thanks for watching stay safe take care and i'll see you next week bye for now